Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from our Amazon review series. Uh, we were contacted by a company we worked with before. Uh, of course, their name is Filand and they sent us a new product that they have out. Now, uh, obviously, a little hard to tell what's in this box right here, but uh, as you may know, they do happen to do uh, quite a few things with uh, gun accessories. So, uh, of course, this goes right in line with that. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box here and uh, we'll go over what it is. All right, everybody, so here it is. As you can see, very simple. There's just a couple things here. Uh, first off, we have a bag of hardware. We've got some uh, screws and we have some wrenches here, some Allen wrenches. And then here you have a uh, pick rail or a picatinny, picatinny. Uh, I never say that right, so I just call it a pick rail. Uh, but uh, as you can see, of course, it has multiple slots here on the top. Very, very decent length. Um, that's going to be like eight or nine inches right there, just on the uh, the rail part itself. Um, the bottom is uh, just straight with a couple of uh, kind of guides on either side, and then of course the holes in it uh, that you use to mount it to your uh, your long gun, uh, rifle, shotgun, or otherwise. Now this does have these flip up iron sights and uh, as you can see we'll try and get a little bit of a close up right here but uh, it has kind of a pin surrounded uh, right there and of course that'll be nice to uh, kind of keep it protected from being damaged um, and then on the back here we have just the uh, round circle now the cool thing with the round circle at the back here uh, the peep sight is that uh, you can actually rotate it around and they have two different sizes here uh, now it does uh, adjust kind of side to side with this um, it has a little bit of a, as you can hear maybe it actually rotates so you can do a little bit of a side to side adjustment with it that way and that will kind of give you maybe your your windage a little bit uh, and then you do have your elevation control here. Uh, basically, it's, you're just gonna kind of slide up and down. It has a little screw at the front there and you can kind of bump it up and down. Um, so a uh, fairly, fairly kind of simple design. As you can see, there are a lot of uh, openings here. As I remember, I believe there were 14 uh, total uh, going across. So you have lots of areas to put on whatever you want to add if you want to put a, uh, a scope or uh, a sight a la uh, of any type of laser uh, even just a flashlight or something of that nature but you have lots of room i do not have anything uh, ready for this uh, to be put on right now uh, primarily because this does require you to drill and tap uh, whatever you're gonna put it on because this is going to be hard mounted on this is not a quick release this is a more permanent style of uh, of mounting uh, again that's why you have the uh, the screws on here rather than some kind of clamp or something like that like some uh, other devices might have but of course those other devices are usually clamping onto something like this uh, whereas this is you know your base this is going to be your foundation that you build everything from so of course you want it mounted solid to uh, whatever it is you're using now these uh, holes here are slotted a little bit you have one solid at the back and then the three at the front here uh, are, are slotted so you can hit this one and mount it down at the back end and then the other three you have a little bit of wiggle room uh, so as long as you get it in the right linear plane straight going down the barrel uh, you're going to uh, be able to get these in fairly well when it comes to the forward and backward uh, on that on that plane so or on that I guess on that line um, now it's not very heavy it is a uh, I believe an aluminum and uh, this would be like the black anodized type of aluminum. Uh, I don't believe anything on here, none of it actually feels like it's uh, plastic other than maybe the, the knob on the site there. 
Other than that, everything seems to be some type of a, a metal, either be it aluminum or maybe, you know, the screws might be steel or something like that. Uh, anyhow, yeah, I think that will do it for me today. Of course, my name's Cougar. This is the world of me. And uh, another episode from the Amazon Review Series. If you guys want to check this out, go down there in the description below. Uh, we will, of course, have a link to that, as well as our social medias down there, too. And uh, on your way down, on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, we'll have those two little icons in the corner. There's that subscribe button down below. And of course, also, if you haven't done it yet, don't forget to hit that little bell icon. Let's get notified when we've got new videos here on the world of me. All right, everybody. Well, I'd like to wish you all a good day and I will see you later. Bye.